Hello Thinkers, Robert N. Jacobs here from Thinkers Books, your one-stop channel for thought-provoking book summaries. Remember, the more that you read, the more things you will know. So, let's get started. Today, we're diving deep into a transformative book that has the potential to change the way you perceive yourself and the world around you. It's called Wherever You Go, There You Are by the phenomenal John Kabat-Zinn. A pioneer in the field of mindfulness, Kabat-Zinn has ingeniously simplified the art of being present and finding peace within oneself. This book is a beacon of light for those lost in the chaos of life, guiding them back to their own selves. The book is segmented into three parts. The bloom of the present moment, the heart of practice, and in the spirit of mindfulness. Each segment is a journey in itself, filled with insightful anecdotes, practical techniques and wisdom that stick with you long after you've turned the last page. Now, let's delve deeper into my top five learning points from this enlightening book. 1. Mindfulness John Kabat-Zinn defines mindfulness as paying attention in a particular way, on purpose, in the present moment, and non-judgmentally. This means intentionally focusing your attention on the here and now, observing your thoughts, emotions and sensations without judging them or getting swept away by them. It's about not letting your mind wander off into the past or future, but keeping it grounded in the present. This practice can help reduce stress, improve focus and enhance emotional well-being. 2. Meditation Kabat-Zinn presents meditation as an accessible, practical tool that anyone can use, regardless of their age, profession or religious beliefs. According to him, meditation is not about achieving a certain state of mind or experiencing something extraordinary. Instead, it's about being fully engaged and present in whatever you're doing at the moment, whether it's eating, walking or simply breathing. This book provides various meditation techniques that can help you cultivate mindfulness and live more consciously. 3. Non-doing The concept of non-doing is a unique aspect of Kabat-Zinn's mindfulness philosophy. It doesn't mean laziness or inactivity, but rather a state of simply being, where you allow things to unfold naturally without your constant control or interference. It's about not rushing through life to get to the next thing but pausing to appreciate and experience the present moment fully. 4. Patience Kabat-Zinn emphasizes the importance of patience in mindfulness practice. Mindfulness is a skill that takes time to develop. It's not about instant gratification or quick fixes. Instead, it's a lifelong journey of self-discovery and personal growth. Being patient with yourself means accepting that progress may be slow and that it's okay to make mistakes along the way. 5. Acceptance Acceptance is a crucial part of mindfulness. It involves acknowledging your feelings, thoughts and experiences as they are, without trying to change them or judge them as good or bad. By accepting reality as it is, you can reduce suffering and create space for positive change and transformation. Wherever you go, there you are, contributes significantly to the genre of self-help and mindfulness. It's a guidebook that helps readers navigate their inner world, promoting mental well-being and personal growth. Personally, this book resonated with me deeply. It reminded me to slow down, to cherish the present, and to accept myself wholeheartedly. It was like a wake-up call, urging me to truly live rather than merely exist. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this book. Did it resonate with you as it did with me? Do share your experiences in the comments below. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more insightful book summaries. To wrap it up, here's a quote from the book that I think perfectly encapsulates its essence. You can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf. So dear thinkers, let's all learn to surf the waves of our lives with grace and mindfulness. Till next time, Keep thinking and keep growing. Thank you.